and welcome back to my channel. It's Yaley Quinones here and today I filmed a very highly requested video. Yes, an eyebrow tutorial is highly requested. But that is because I get people calling me, I get people texting me, I get people FaceTiming me, I get people snapping me to show them how I do my eyebrows. Now I've done them before, like eyebrow tutorial, but this is something you can reference back to because in those other eyebrow tutorials you can't go back to it really because it was like on Snapchat or whatever. So yeah, and this is basically my my eyebrows. I already did them. But let's get on into the video so you guys can see exactly how I do them. So to begin, I already have one eyebrow done, just so you guys can like see. Because um, well I want you guys to have like a template. Not really a template, but just to have something there already. And also because this is, this is my bad eyebrow, like they're so uneven, it's crazy. It's not even, it's no one's fault because I don't do my eyebrows. It's just nature. I was born like this, like one eyebrow is higher than the other one. Don't look at it because it's really bad. Like my face is not symmetrical. To fill in my eyebrows, I use the Anastasia Dip Brow Pomade in the color a Dark Brown. This is like the Holy Grail. To apply the product, I will be using a angled brush. This one doesn't have any names, so just make sure it's like nice and skinny and angled. And to blend everything, because blending is key, I will be using this spoolie. You can use ones like the free ones from Sephora or like actually buy one. I mean, they're all the same, it's the same thing. And last but not least, I will be using a concealer brush to clearly conceal my eyebrows. So to begin, I make sure I brush all of my little hairs up because I will be starting on the bottom of my eyebrow. And I get a little bit of product on my angled brush because a little does go a long way, for real. And I start off like where my arch begins because this is also where my eyebrow is most thickest or is supposed to be more, most thickest. And what I do is basically make the shape that I want. Like that. And then what I do is kind of like drag the product with a very light hand throughout the rest of my eyebrow. I can't really do the thing where you don't touch the front of the eyebrow because Either way, if I don't or I do, it, it will still look the same. Because the front of my eyebrows, like my hairs are really dark. So I still do touch that front of my eyebrow. I just like it more like that, having that like nice clean look. And it won't look that thick. I mean, my eyebrows are kind of thick, but it won't look that dark like two caterpillars on my eyebrows. As you can see with this one. Like the front is still lighter than the back of my eyebrow so I said go on with a light hand but that is a little too dark I mean it's whatever and then now I just fill in the back a little bit like half of it just to make that bottom line thicker basically at the back it kind of just helps with the whole filling in part at the ending now I brush my hairs down because I will be working on the top of my eyebrow and I pick up some product and what I do is I begin at the tail so I do make a lot of faces when I'm doing my eyebrows because it just helps like the product glide easier so what I do is I kind of do frown to get the shape that I want at the end from like the tip of where the eyebrow begins to go down I just put the product going down going to the tip like that so it looks really weird extremely weird actually and I kind of elongate a little bit or like make it thicker at the end because I don't like super thin eyebrows like right here that it looks like she no I don't do that <laughs> I mean it does kind of look like that now actually I shouldn't be talking 
and then what I do is I just continue the shape exactly what I did at the bottom like making the shape that I want and like outlining my eyebrow I'll do that on the top as well And now what I'm going to do is fill in. And I make sure to only fill in in the back and then with any access, I kind of like just flick it up towards the front. So this is like kind of like what it looks like. I feel like the front is a little too sparse though, so I'm just going to go like this. And now with my spoolie again, I will kind of like spread the product out just to make sure there's no streakiness. And it will remove any excess product like pieces that are like too much. And it will reveal some little patches that are not like, what is it, filled in. So I just make sure to fill that in because it looks very bad when your eyebrows are like patchy. Well, not patchy, just sparse. So like that, and again with my spoolie, blend, 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 and spread. The line in the front will kind of disappear when you run the spoolie through it. It's kind of like a blending brush, but just for your eyebrows, you know? So now I will be using, you know, my concealer brush to conceal. So I take concealer and I run it really close to my eyebrow. So I'm going to take the darker concealer and I do go in the front of my eyebrow because I just love having a nice clean eyebrow. And I blend that out with the beauty blender and I will be back with my eyebrows completely done. So yeah, that's basically it for my video today. I hope you guys enjoyed. So bye guys and I'll see you guys in my next video.